Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud, and no, you're not dreaming. That, my friends, is a helicopter in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we're taking a look at this up-and-coming project that adds the first helicopter we've got into the sim. This is freeware, so it's available to download in the description, although I wouldn't really recommend that yet, and you'll see why. But now, let's get into this video. Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stad, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're in the Eurocopter. If you don't know, the Eurocopter is a quite common helicopter around here. I forgot its model name, I'll put it on the screen now. It's primarily used by emergency services, but also military and civilian operators. So it's a pretty familiar site for me anyway. Now recently, a fantastic small development team uploaded this freeware add-on to FlightSim.to, my favourite website, and there's certainly a lot to talk about. Now looking outside, you can see the external models already looking pretty good, I imagine it's a flight simulator export or something unless they've hand modeled it already uh, but I can't find any evidence of that so far and just looking at the lights it would appear there is some sort of port over now this aircraft is nowhere near finished this is the first release and I describe it as a beta release it's really nowhere near done it's just a bit of fun at the moment now at the moment we're flying over a local airport of mine and they do actually have helicopters there quite commonly so I mean this is the perfect place to be fair I'll show you a takeoff and landing in a little while, but first let's take a look around the cockpit. So the team do plan on adding custom avionics gauges into this aircraft. You can see at the moment we've got the stock Microsoft Flow Simulator ones. Not a massive issue to be fair because this is a freeware aircraft and it's a very early days so you can't expect too much. We've got our control column here, we've also got the other thing that helicopters have and that's completely out of my head. And we've also got our pedals down there. Now they are planning on making custom avionics as I said so you will see this swapped out soon. Also got a nice little switch panel up here as well and some circuit breakers as well. Now of course the main thing about helicopters is that they can take off vertically uh, which makes them perfect for sightseeing which I think is one of the main points of Microsoft Flow Simulator at this point. Now sounds aren't there, let's be honest, but this is a completely in development work in progress aircraft, so you can't expect it all. Of course this is not what a helicopter sounds like, but hey, at least it's not silent. To be fair to the developers, it does actually sound quite a bit better in the helicopter cockpit as if you've got some really good noise cancelling headphones on. But again, this is a work in progress, so this isn't really a review, it's just more of a fun little video taking a look at a new aircraft. Now let's talk about flight model. I've got to be honest, at the moment in the early stages, this is a really tough aircraft to fly and I imagine quite unrealistic. I have had to swap around with the sensitivity curves to actually be able to control this aircraft, but it appears the problem actually lies with speed. Once you get over 40 knots, this aircraft is flyable like now. I'm using both my stick and rudder pedals to keep it straight on approach to this runway. But anything below 40 knots, and it is absolutely insane, the aircraft basically starts flipping about, and I'm, you of course really struggle with it. Now you may be wondering, why am I approaching a runway in a helicopter like this? Well basically, the procedure around this part of the UK is, uh, with most of the helipads being quite old, uh, especially at Norwich anyway, and fly them onto the normal approach, they then land, and then they'll possibly air taxi over to the apron. If you want a study level helicopter, then this obviously is not for you. This is not going to be a nice landing, but hey, we'll get a nice replay, I'm sure. Yeah, you can see, once the speed starts dropping, this aircraft does go slightly insane. We keep trying killing that speed, so at least we get onto the end of the runway. It doesn't also, it kind of flies a bit like an aircraft in this sense, anyway. We'll do it. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Lose that speed. This is not going too well, I'll admit, guys. Um... Yeah, let's see if we can get on the ground. You can see what I mean, it's picking up speed when I've reduced the throttle all the way down. And here we go. Ooh, that was, that was, that was tight. And it's lifting off again. Well, wow. Okay, so we tried to land the aircraft, although in fairness to me that didn't go too well. You see what I mean guys, this is not finished in any way, shape or form. Uh, so, takeoff and landing as the developer state is incredibly challenging. 
We do actually have battery and some form of avionics modelled, which I guess is a nice touch, but this aircraft is in its early stages, so don't expect anything with the buttons because you can't press any of them. However, you can see when everything's turned off, the cockpit does look very nice. I just clearly spent some time on this as well, which is always nice to see with small developers like this. Just make sure you assign a key to turn your batteries on or whatever, or if you've got a panel, use that because there's no way to press it in the cockpit. Now re-watching one of my takeoff replays, you can see the flight model, as I said, is quite iffy. You also get that annoying stall warning as well, um, because the aircraft's going too slow, because throttle doesn't seem to be modelled too well. Auto rotation and all of that is down the line, but of course, this is the first release for this, so you can't expect too much. We've got the helicopter and the US Navy livery and we actually have got another livery so that brings it to four. I just forgot about that one. Now the camera doesn't seem to play around with it too well either. But you guys know why that is. I've made the reason why it's not finished yet 100% clear. And now we're in the beautiful air ambulance livery, Samu. I've never heard of it before, I'm sure it stands for something. And looking at it here, the helicopter does look really good, I have to say. It's just a shame about the flight model, but don't be worried about that just yet, guys. That will be fixed in the not-so-distant future. So, it's not by any means an aircraft you really want to fly at the moment. I really struggle with it. As you can see, this was us trying to land earlier. But, like all good things, it will improve in time, and hey, it's nice to have a helicopter in the sim already, even if it's just eye candy. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, taking a look at this very interesting, but also a highly potential aircraft that is coming to the sim, our first helicopter in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for up-to-date Microsoft Flight Simulator news, updates and more. But for me today, that is all, bye bye. Before I end this video, I'd just like to say, if you guys didn't know, I've got a Discord server. We've got about 700 members on there, I believe, and it's a fantastic way to communicate with me and like-minded individuals. On top of this, if you're curious about what equipment I use to sim, film, and edit my videos, I've got all of the links down below. They are Amazon affiliate links, so I do get a small commission out of them, but the prices remain the same. Once again guys, thank you for watching this video, your continued support really does mean a lot, but from me today, that is all, bye bye.